Yeah, good evening everyone. I'll be doing a video on geological database on SOPAC mining software. So to start with, I have to open the folder where my exploration or the whole data are. So In, your, in creating a geological database, you have to make sure that you validate your data before going further because if the data is not well organized, then you will be having a lot of problems in creating your geological database. So for the green hole data the exploration results have, it's a gold data source, then we all know we have the assay, color, geology, and survey. So I have to open each and check if they are in the right or correct order. So for the assay, that have to deal with the gold grid. So we have the, ho the whole ID, sample ID, the depth from depth to, and the gold percentage of the gold grid. Or sometimes in some data, you see AU, which is the symbol for gold so it's okay then i'll open again the next one the color so for the color table it shows all the location of each hole that's why for the color we have the x y so the x and y coordinates so if you want to track the area where the, the three hole is coming from then you can plot the color disabling any of the GI software it can take you or show you the exact location so the color table shows you the location of each drill hole the points where they are so you have the whole id you have the y x and z so if you plot this then you know the exact location we are the drill holes are so then we have the geology that tells us about the rock type so the rock during drilling the the rocks intercept so the geology table when you are doing the core login so they, they take notice of that even when they are analyzing the sample so all the rocks they intercept when doing the drilling so you have to take account of each and every one so for for here we have our depth from we have our depth to so whole id so the, the first one depth from is zero to two meter so the rock type is shale s2 so from two meter to six meter sh or something like that so you have to you have to take record on of each and every rock type they intersect for, for each interval so and we have again also the survey the survey table shows all the orientation of each hole so you have to do your downhole survey to know so we have the whole idea the depth we have the deep and the azimuth, azimuth the bearing. So after confirming these four tables, they are in good order. Then the next thing you do is to create your geological database. So we have two steps of creating a geological database. We have one, we create the database in Microsoft Access. Then we map it in SOPAC software. And we have another method of creating the database in SOPAC. So the first one, I'm going to create a geological database using Microsoft Access. You need to have Microsoft Office Package Access to create it so I can search for Access. So I've seen Microsoft Access. I have to double click to open it. So after, so this is Microsoft Office Access. So the next thing I have to do is I have a blank database. So I have to click on blank. So file name, I have to enter the name of my database. So I've given it a name training. Then the next thing, C drive users, my laptop name, it's on a document. I don't want it to be on a document. I want it to be in the folder where my exploration of real data are. So I have to click on this, the folder icon. Then I have to go to desktop and 
I search gold, I open it, so I have to, to save it under this folder. So now it has changed desktop and gold. So I create, click on create. So now this is Microsoft, is Microsoft Access. So the next thing I have to import all those table exploration results. So the next thing I have to do, I have to go to external. So under the menu, you have file home, create external. From external, we have import and link. So under import and link, I have to come to new data source. Click on new data source. The first one, file from where, from where, from Excel. So you have to go file from Excel. Click, we call it Excel. So now file name, it's on a document. I have to browse again. Browse, go to desktop. Search for gold, double click the folder where my information are. These are the four tables that I click on. I say, I say, see a file name, I say, then I click on open, then I click on OK, then click on OK again, click on next, 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 and finish. So it's important. So you wait for it until it is finished importing the assay. So after importing, so I have to do or repeat the same process to import all the other three tables. So close. So now this is the assay. Double click on it. This is it. So the next you go again external new data source click. I drop the arrow file from Excel. Yes. Then browse again. I come with the color open just the same. I have to perform the same process to import them all finish. So you see we have color, there we go again the same procedure to import everything. Browse, go to geology, import the geology table, click on next, 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 and finish. So you have to perform the same process. Close. Then come again to, to import the last one. Browse. Survey. Open. You repeat the same process. Next, next, next. And finish. Then close. So now I have to double click on the color, the geology, the survey. So I have four. I say color, geology, and survey. So we have table one you see table one there is nothing there so i have to click on this x to delete it so these are the four i say color geology and survey so what i have to do is i have to save it go to file save as save as click on save as yes go to gold yes training yes save so i've saved this so the next thing i have to do, i have to close microsoft access and open my sub pack. So open the sub pack software. So I have to double click on the sub pack software and wait for it to open. So I'm coming to map. I'm coming to map. So this is the sub pack software graphical interface. So I have to search for the name of my computer. Yes. And it's on that desktop. The folder is on that desktop. Open desktop. Good. Right click and set as work directory. So now I've set it as work directory, the folder where I want my information to be saved. So after that, the next thing I have to do is I have to come to database. Under database, come again to database. Then you cross over, we see map the database. So you have to go to database. Come again to database, then you cross map database, click on map database. So it has opened. So these are the three. So just select one on the three database I've created in Microsoft Access. Click on next and next. Yes, I want to create. So now it's here. We have the mapping details. We have the mandatory tables and option. The mandatory tables are tables without which you cannot create geological database and they are color and survey color without the color there is no way you can create a geological database because it tells you the position of each holes the x and y coordinates are in there 
and after showing the position of each hole the surveyors can go and do a downhole survey so it means without these two tables it's there is no way you can create a geological database you need them and we have the optional tables you have the geology and assay so what i have to do is i have to click on the plus sign under mandate 3 for it to open expand i have color and survey so map is so i'm coming to map color to color survey to survey let's click and hold on the color drag and drop it on the color do the same for the survey left click and hold drag and drop on the survey so i'm done with that so the next thing i have to open the optional table there are interval tables also open the interval table i have to delete i have to remove both geology and survey then i have to come with them again i say left click i will drop it on interval tables then i open it so you see the geology again left click and hold drop it on interval again so i have them both there so now it's done the next thing i have to do is to click on finish so you see at the bottom of the software i have the database here training database so it has changed so on the under the folders my own directory so training is here the db whole database so the next thing i have to do is try to display it so come click on the drop down arrow come to drill hole display uncheck this add constraint assay then you click on the field so the table is assay the field also select gold and apply so yes it's showing this command because i have not given it style table so this is the geological database but i have to give it style table so for now so these are the three holes they are empty for now so the next thing i have to do is i have to create my style table so for us to create style table there are different options so you go to your database so from from your database you have different other options so you see you look for your database you have variety of options there so you see under analysis you have elite database under database so you have to look at all this administration you clear database so under the administration from database you come to administration from administration you have create styles table so styles you're going to display the three holes based on cut of grid give them color so you give it blue when someone sees blue it they know it's for waste something like that so you create click on create styles table so now you see here in the in the window menu the command menu the command space where each and every message pops up a style table has been created the next thing i have to do is to click on the drop down arrow at the bottom here come to display this drill hole display styles click on it now it's open i want to give styles table to the assay click on the plus sign search for the gold gold and right click get min max so it will give me the minimum and maximum range of the grids so now so we have a grid distribution that starts from 0 0.01 to 135 so you see so you can determine how you want your drill to display like this so now we are we are going to create like four the for the waste low grade medium and high grade so let's right click again and get min max so two three four so the first thing so come here display as attributes so from value so we want to start from zero to zero point zero one as our waste then you click on graphics color yeah when you click there you type the color blue b l u e you come again to the plotting color you type again blue so it, they have to be the same so we've created one so to the next we are going to start from 0 0.01 to another number so we have to determine how we want the grid distribution to be you can decide to say two give it a color i can say green green 
and here the plotting color again green so you change the color again to green then i come again from two so we had this stop from zero to zero point one so we had the the way stop so the low grade starts so from two to five so i have to give it yellow for the medium grade so you have to choose the colors so we go again from five to nine 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 the highest value in sub pack so i have to give it red for the high grade so after doing this so you know now the first one is switched from 0 to 0 0.1 color is blue then low grade from 0 0.01 to 2 is green from 2 to 5 yellow 5 to 9 and then I, I apply after I apply if I rotate the drill holes zoom closer you see the grade distribution are in there so you see we have yellow we have red so it's like that so you have to determine all those so so you can continue to do a lot of work on it so this is how you create your geological database and you give it styles table so thank you very much i will stop here for now